Hey everybody, this is FireGod522 with my 10th tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the radio tool so that you can send data wirelessly so you don't have these big long ass wires dragging across the map. So if you have like a wired missile you won't have, like you have like a launch station and a missile. I'm not going to do this, I'm just giving you an example. Uh, so you push like a button on there and it sends a signal to the missile. It doesn't have a wire connecting it but it shoots it off and blows up whatever. You don't have to have like this giant wire going across the map. And if you have your shadows detail on low, like I do, for... Oh. Okay. Uh, if you... If you have your shadow details on low, like I do, and you have like a wire stretching all the way across the map, you'll get this giant ass shadow, and we don't want that. So I'm just going to go show you guys how to use a quick little example with the radio tool. Alright. Let's go ahead and spawn a plate. And over here I'll spawn a plate. Now I'm going to uh, get a screen. It's going to have out. Use only one value. I'm just going to explain how to use it, pretty much. Okay, so out. Actually, no, I'm going to have in and out. Okay. So, we need something to make this have in and out. Okay, so button. Toggle one value on 80. Why not? Place that down. And over here, I'm just going to have a value of 1. Place that down. Alright, now let's go ahead and get our radio tool. As soon as I figure out where I left it. It's not there. Radio. Oh, okay, there it is. Alright, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose whatever model. I don't care. Router, why not? Values, I'm just going to have 1 because I only want to send one value and receive one value. So I'm just going to put that there. Well, one plate. And then one over here. You might want to have secure checked. The difference between this is it doesn't tell the... Uh, secured... Yeah, I don't think it really matters, but... Uh, your channels on the radios, you might want to have it on the same channel, so like channel 5, and that one has to be on channel 5, that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Now, I want this to send out 1. So I'm going to have out on the screen, go to the button. Okay. Uh, you guys probably can't see that. There, okay. So that's going to there. That's going to the button. Okay, so if I go in on this screen, way over on the other side, wire it to the router. Uh, radio, sorry. I'm looking at the model and I see a router. Okay. And so if I go over here and hit this button, it says out is on one. So if I go over here, in is at one. Let me go back over here, turn off that button, and it's back at zero. Now let's say I want this to send a value of 80. I'll go 1 goes to 80. So when I hit that, yeah, got to wear the screen. Out goes to the button, and then in on this screen goes to the radio. So basically I'm having it send, send out 1 on this side and receive 80. Over here, it's receiving 1 and sending out 80. Change that. It goes back to normal. So, let me set up like this little function thing I can do with this. Now, let's say over here, I want to start a timer. <clears throat> so, okay, so we go ahead and get our timer. Place that down. I don't want that on. And then, let's say on the other side... I want it to reset the timer over a certain amount of time. 
Now this might get a little confusing, I don't know, but you'll just have to follow me. Now go back to our radio tool. Actually, no, we don't. Okay, no, don't. Okay, let's go ahead and get our wire tool out. And on this side that sends out 80, wire run to the radio. Oh, shit. Yeah, we do. Okay, get your radio tool back out. I'm sorry, people. Uh, kind of made this up as we went, so yeah. And you don't have to do this. This is only like an example. You could probably come up with better things than I can. Okay, so we're going to change the values to 2 on both the radios. Okay, so we want run on this timer. Go to the output 1. So that way it receives, if that's on, it'll start the timer. Now reset is going to go to output 2. Okay, so let's go on back over here. Uh, shit. Oh, yes, okay. Now, sorry, I'm brain dead right now. Okay, on this radio that we just wired up still, 2 will go to the timer. Okay. Now we go back to the other one. I'm, I'm done with that over there. Alright, 2 doesn't go into anything, but the greater than. Okay, greater than A goes to output 2. So that way it checks to see if that timer or the radio is receiving a value of whatever. So right now it's at 0, so therefore it is equal to 0. Now B, let's say B goes to output 1, which is 80. Okay, now we turn this on. It's receiving 1, but that's still not going. That's because we wired reset to an output that reads off the greater than. Uh, if you guys don't follow me, you might want to rewind the video. Okay, so right now this is equal to, uh, equal to 1 because it is equal to 0. Now if I change this, now we're going to look at the timer when I do. 80, that goes up. I don't want it to be at 80 because that's a little high. And so I'll do 10 for tutorial sakes. Turn it back on. Eh. What the hell, 5. Okay. And it resets every time you turn off this button. Now watch when it hits 5, it goes back down. Let me turn that off. Or no. Okay, let's go over here. Turn off this button. We look at that. It's still on, but it hasn't reset. So if I change that back down to zero, it resets. <sighs> Let me go through this one more time. This is reading off the button and reading off the timer. The timer is being run from the radio tools receive value to see if that button is on. If that button is on, it sends the data from that radio down to here. That tells the timer to start working, so it receives the button value. The reset on this goes to the output 2, so it receives to see if the greater than over here is at 1. The greater than reads off of output, um, output 2. So it reads from the second value, and it also reads from the first value. So we're seeing if output 2 is greater than or equal to output 1. So if, if the timer is greater than or equal to whatever this button is, then it will reset. If it's at 0, then it will always be resetting or, or not start either way. I hope that kind of helped explain the radio tool a little bit. Uh, that was a little complicated for some people, I guess. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that's all I can think of. Have fun. Don't burn yourself.